This is my Klondike um, potbelly stove heater that I've um, have mounted here in my my land room. It's basically in, enclosed in the chimney uh, in the chimney area. It works quite well. Um, it's made by Massport. Um, yeah, they're fairly readily available here in Australia. A um, couple of things I had to do um, in order to get it get it mounted. The feet that are on it, they're um, some bits that I pieces that I made up out of some square tube. Um, yeah, basically um, capped them off and put some um, put some bolts up through there, which screws into the base of the the pot belly, and basically that allows me to fit it into the into the space that I have. Um, it's a good it's a good little heater. And it's sort of yeah, especially in these cold winter nights. But the problem is, I've discovered up in here there's a metal plate that goes across the top, which surrounds the um, surrounds the flue. And as you can see, it started to um, started to deteriorate and starting to fall in. I'll give you a bit of a better look there. So it's starting to fall in. There's some metal bracing in across the top here, across the top of the fire pit. So I'm going to actually going to use that. And I've made up these these pieces of uh, pieces of plate. And I intend for them to go for them to go up in there. Reinforce that across the top, and I'll actually weld them to those those horizontal pieces. So I've made two halves there, which will slot up into there, and um, I'll probably use some use some solid square bar at the back there to hold them up at the back, and I'll, as I say, I'll weld them in to that solid bar that reinforces the top of the the top of the fireplace. That's a little bit of information about the the model, and so we can get a, get a bit of focus here. No, anyway, yeah, it's basically just got a bunch of information about recommendations, and there's all sorts of add-ons that you can you can get for this as well. I'm limited because of the the size of the opening of my fireplace. Uh, another thing with it, because it's it's set into the fireplace, as you can see, I do lose a lot of heat up through up through the the, the flue, and I also lose a lot where that has started to collapse at the top. So it's not actually in commission at the moment. I've sort of I've taken it out of commission until I can get those plates in, and I've also found some scrap stainless steel sheet and I've made two um, two heat reflectors which are, are curved and they, they fit nicely in beside it and sort of form a curve around the back of it so I'm hoping that'll help with the, the radiant heat but I'll give you a, a look at that when I bring them up. Um, for the meantime now I'm going to take these down to the workshop and I'm going to get the flap disc out, take all the paint off both sides, knock back a bit of that, that surface rust there um, so I don't want any any paint obviously on it. Um, I've got some high temp paint now downstairs which I may may spray. Um, it's sort of the, this particular paint that I've got is designed for this this sort of thing. Um, so yeah, we'll take these down to the workshop. We'll get the flap out and um, take all that paint off. Another interesting little little fact. This little sticker was was on the bottom. It mounted to the mounted to the base of it there, which has obviously fallen off. But um yeah, it says Australia burn hardwood only, New Zealand burn softwood only. So I can only imagine that that's some sort of emissions environmental thing. Um, yeah I just found that two different rules for two different places. Very interesting. Okay, so what a mission that was. So there's our stainless steel 
heat reflector. It's made up of two parts. Each side's got 100 mil legs that have been welded on. It's a bit, a bit hard to give you a look at that. Yeah, 200 mil legs on either side. We've got our our plates in up there. I haven't even bothered cleaning that slag off the welds. It's so difficult to get up there. There's just no room. But they're they're tied into the back there now. That covers up our hole. So yeah, hopefully that'll have solved our problem. Next thing to do is this bar along the front here. A metal bar that runs across the front. I'm going to build like a another deflector that comes off the off the top and sort of deflects out and up away from the mantle. So that'll be the next thing. I haven't got any firewood cut for this yet, so I'll have to give you another video of getting it up and running. But that's a bit of a look at the the Klondike Potbelly by Massport. Thanks for watching and. If you if you like it give us a like and um yeah so feel free to subscribe help me build this little channel thanks very much